Los Olvidados, billed in English as The Young and the Damned, was directed by the legendary Luis Buñuel. Now, in 1950, he was already known for his surrealist works like Un Chien Andalou and L'Age d'Or. However, Land Without Bread, Buñuel's 1933 parody of ethnographic documentaries, showed that he knew how to handle a more realistic style. We had a difficult time trying to photograph the idiots. The degeneracy of these people is caused principally by hunger, by lack of hygiene, and by incest. Los Olvidados lies more closely to social realism than to surrealism. The story is pretty standard for the genre. Impoverished boys in Mexico City have no choice but to turn to crime, Pedro becomes an accomplice to murder, and the social order attempts to reform him. Buñuel, of course, was less than committed to realism. The narrative breaks for Pedro to have a dream sequence. And the boy throws an egg at the camera late in the film. Buñuel saw surrealism as in some ways more accurate than standard realism. It certainly doesn't make the film any less harsh. Like most of his movies, Los Olvidados was unpopular with the government, which was trying to portray Mexico as an enlightened, progressive state. Mira, 